UAB for 23 years and this is one of the most exciting days um, to know what this um, virus has done for our patients um, and, and how many people have been affected by it and to know that this could be the next step in ending this pandemic is, is quite important. It makes it very real. I mean it's very exciting uh, to know that it's here, that we will have a hand in slowing or stopping this pandemic. Uh, it, it's just, it's the culmination of a lot of work over the last few weeks. The easy part has just happened. Um, we have to schedule um, the people that are going to get the vaccines. We have a hierarchy or a prioritization list um, that came from the government and we will work with that list. Um, they've all been sent an email. Um, they're responding to that email now to say yes I want to get the vaccine. Um, our administrative staff in employee health will start scheduling those vaccines. We were uh, anxiously anticipating a call as early this morning and uh, got that call first thing and uh, made our way over to receive it from the FedEx uh, shipper. Uh, the FedEx team met, it, met us there and escorted us. Um, we were able to get the vaccine into the hospital and into its appropriate cold storage um, freezer. So this freezer um, is um, very special in that it has to maintain ultra low temperature um, and this vaccine is maintained at a temperature um, with a 10 degree uh, variation of negative 70 degrees. So it is frozen. It comes delivered in dry ice to maintain that temperature. Um, and then we have a very systematic process of opening the boxes, removing the vaccine from the uh, dry ice, and then placing it in this freezer. 